dear friends welcome to my channel mechanical classroom in today's lecture we will be dealing with fourth module of uh, engineering mechanics of kerala technological university this is the part one uh, let's see the syllabus fourth module consists of uh, dynamics which include rectilinear translation equation of kinematics kinetics equation of motion d'alembert's principle motion on horizontal and inclined surfaces motion of connected bodies impulse moment momentum equation and work energy equation curvilinear translation equation of uh, kinematics projectile motion equation of motion then moment of momentum and work energy equation and now let's directly enter into the topic what is dynamics Dynamics is the branch of mechanics which deals with the motion of the bodies. We can di divide dynamics into two distinct parts that is kinematics and kinetics. In, kin uh, in kinematics, we are studying the motion without considering the force which causes that motion. Whereas in kinetics, we are studying the motion of the body by considering the force which causes the motion. Now let's see different types of uh, rigid body motion. First type is uh, translation motion. What is translation motion? In translation motion, every line in the body remains parallel to its original position at all time, which you can see in the diagram. Uh, consider line AB, which is the initial position and a dash b dash is the final position after the body has changed its position we can see that both a b and a dash b dash are in parallel so we are we can say that that body is executing translatory motion then this translation motion is divided into two types as rectilinear translation and curvilinear translation you can see in the first diagram when the path of the motion for any two points in the body are parallel lines then that type of motion is known as or that type of translation is known as rectilinear translation we are considering two points a and b whose path is shown in the diagram okay and these two paths are parallel whereas we can see in the second diagram if the path of these two points a and b these paths are curved line which are equidistant and we call that type of translation as curvilinear translation okay now second type of motion that is rotation about a fixed axis which you can see that uh, when a rigid body rotates about a fixed axis all the particles of the body except those which lies on the axis of rotation move along circular path you can see that the point b is rotating about a the initial position of point b is b and uh, which is changed to uh, final position as b dash example to this motion is that motion of uh, compound pendulum and we have third category of uh, type of motion uh, in rigid body that is general plane motion this is widely occurring motion and uh, this type of motion occur when there is combination of translation and rotation and uh, example for this motion is connecting rod in a reciprocating engine motion of a connecting rod in a reciprocating engine now let's revise some basic equations which you might study in your school courses uh, for linear motion we represent initial velocity as u final velocity as v constant acceleration a total distance traversed as s and we have equations of motions v equal to u plus a t s equal to u t plus half a t square v square equal to u square plus 2 s then differential formula of velocity v equal to ds by dt a equal to dv by dt Corresponding to this linear motion, we have uh, equations with respect to angular motion, 
initial velocity is represented by omega 0 final velocity as omega constant acceleration as alpha uh, total distance traversed as theta omega equal to omega 0 plus alpha t theta equal to omega 0 t plus alpha half into alpha t square then omega square equal to omega 0 square plus 2 alpha into theta omega equal to d theta by dt alpha equal to d omega by dt now let's do some basic problems first problem a train traveling at 27 km per hour is accelerated at the rate of 0 0.5 meter per second square what is the distance traveled by the train in 12 seconds first of all you write given data given initial velocity here u equal to 27 km per hour which we have to convert into SI unit that is in meter per second uh, then acceleration a equal to 0 0.5 meter per second square time taken t equal to 12 second uh, you have to write what to find out that is distance traveled s uh, from the previous slide we you know s equal to ut plus alpha half t square s equal to ut plus half t square s is find out simply apply that formula s equal to ut plus half t square will be getting distance traveled by the train in 12 seconds so s equal to ut plus half t square by substituting you will be getting the value 126 meter now let's do second problem a scooter starts from rest and moves with a constant acceleration of 1.2 meter per second square determine its velocity after it has traveled for 60 meters this is also basic problem uh, right given data initial velocity we have given uh, u equal to 0 since it is mentioned in the problem uh, starts from rest okay so you will be 0 acceleration a equal to 1.2 meter per second square distance traveled equal to 60 meter okay now you can find out velocity v by using the equation of the motion we can use the formula v square equal to u square plus 2s Sub, uh, substituting the values in the above formula we will be getting v equal to 12 meter per second in kilometer per hour you can write it as 43.2 now we can do a problem a body is released from a great height falls freely towards earth another body is released from the same height exactly one second later find the separation between both the bodies after two seconds of the release of uh, second body this is the question first of all you have to understand the question uh, here we have given or we can take initial velocity of uh, both the bodies u equal to 0 since there is uh, nothing uh, is given about the initial velocity also it is mentioned in the problem uh, bodies are released so we can take u as 0 now let's assume time taken by the first body t1 equal to 3 seconds okay if we assume first body time taken by the first body is 3 seconds then it is given in the problem uh, second body is released after one second of release of first body so we can take uh, time taken by the second body as t2 as 3 minus 1 that is 2 seconds now what we have to find out to find is uh, separation between both the bodies after two seconds of the release of second body which means uh, since uh, body is released from a height in uh, in place of s we can take as h uh, so we know s equal to ut plus half t square okay so we'll be taking in place of s as h okay and formula will be like this for the case of first body h1 equal to ut1 plus half gt1 square since body is taking three seconds time uh, we can take uh, t as uh, t equal to three second okay you will be zero in the both case and uh, you will be getting h1 as 44.1 now considering second body h2 equal to ut2 plus half gt2 square u 
is 0 in this case also and we are uh, substituting T as 2 then you will be getting 19.6 then separation between the two bodies can be calculated from the difference of uh, this H1 and H2 H1 minus H2 will give 24.5 that is your answer now let's move on to our fourth question a particle starting from rust moves in a straight line whose equation of motion is given by s equal to t cube minus 2 t square plus 3 find the velocity and the acceleration uh, acceleration of the particle after 5 seconds we have given equation of displacement s equal to t cube minus 2 t square plus 3 also uh, this is the only thing which we have given we have to determine velocity after 5 second acceleration after 5 second uh, for doing this problem we have to use uh, differential equation differential uh, we know v equal to velocity equal to ds by dt also, also uh, differential formula of acceleration is uh, a equal to d square s by dt square so we have to use differential formula in order to solve this problem so uh, velocity after 5 second we have to determine velocity after 5 second that is equal to ds by dt which is equal to 3t square minus 40 v equal to 3t square minus 40 and uh, we have to determine velocity after 5 second substitute t equal to 5 we will be getting velocity as 55 meter per second so and determine acceleration after 5 second uh, by the formula acceleration equal to d square s by dt square will be again uh, differentiating uh, equation of velocity uh, one time uh, will be getting d square s by dt square equal to 60 minus 4 that is a equal to 60 minus 4 substitute t equal to 5 seconds you will be getting acceleration as 24 meter per second square now we have last question the equation of motion of a particle moving in a straight line is given by s equal to 18t plus 3t square minus 2t cube where s is in meter and t is in second. Find velocity and acceleration at start. Second sub question time when the particle reaches its maximum velocity and third sub part is maximum velocity of the particle. Okay, uh, you have to do this question by your own. I will explain the steps. Okay. Uh, first part is as same as previous one you need to use differential formula for velocity velocity equal to ds by dt and acceleration equal to d square s by dt square now uh, in order to determine velocity and acceleration at start substitute t as 0 0 second you will be getting velocity as 18 meter per second 18 meter per second and acceleration as 6 meter per second square now second part of the second sub question time when the particle reaches its maximum velocity in order to determine this uh, you have to differentiate for maximum velocity you have to differentiate the equation of velocity and equate it to zero okay uh, then you will be getting uh, time time when the particle reaches its maximum velocity as t equal to 0.5 second then uh, this is answer for second sub question then third part the uh, third sub question and uh, you simply substitute this value t equal to 0.5 second in the equation of velocity you will be getting maximum velocity of the particle thanks for watching please subscribe and share